thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new box that I received from Droidbox and it is called Droidbox T8S. This box is jam packed. Today we're going to unbox and review this box itself. Just a reminder that this box came with another remote that is called Droidbox i8 Plus. So we will be going through everything in this video. All right, you can see the box is nicely done. Once we open it, the components that are inside of this is the Droidbox Smart TV, comes with one IR remote, comes with one power adapter, which is created for Europe, comes with one HDMI cable and a user guide. Now, beside that, we also received a i8 Plus remote. And with that comes with a little charger and also comes with a user manual going through the remote itself the remote that is part of this box is an ir remote you can see it right now it is pretty nicely done it is very functional and when you go to the back you can see the back you can open it takes two AAA batteries and batteries are not included let's get to the box itself all right so you can see it it is nicely done the logo on the top is pretty stand out by far it always stays cool so you can see the front it has a timer so once you turn it on it's very visible and during the night time if you have your lights off it is not going to hurt your eyes going to the right hand side you have a power button so you can turn it on or turn it off going to the right side we have a full SD card slot and three USB 2.0 ports going to the back starts from Wi-Fi antenna right beside that you have the power connection which is 5 volt Right beside that, we have the Ethernet connection or RG45. We have the HDMI connection, which is 1.4. And we have the RCA connection. This way you can connect it to older type of TVs, which is red, white, and yellow. And then right next to it, you have the optical audio. Go to the other side of it. There's nothing there, just little cuts for ventilation. And now comes the super best part. If we flip it in the bottom, you have a lot of little holes for ventilation. But that's not the only thing. This box have a hidden section for a 2.5 hard drive. Remember that it has to be a SATA hard drive. So there is a little screw you can take it out. And yes, from Droidbox, they have sent us a 160 gigabyte nice hard drive inside of it. And then this way we can go on to take advantage of it. That way you can take this anywhere and you still have your videos inside of it. All right, enough said about the box itself. Before we connect this, let's get to the Droidbox i8 Plus remote. You can see it right now is the way that it is done is pretty nice. Two things. First, the touch base, two fingers to right click on it or one finger to left click on this. Also, if you want to go up and down with two fingers, you can do that too on the touch path itself. We do have the pause, play, volume up, volume down on the left hand side. Also, we have the navigation button on the right hand side, which is pretty handy dandy if you want to use it. Another thing, we have a lot of buttons on this so you can use. Once you try to connect it, there is three indicators on it that will blink. If it's not connected, it will be yellow. Once it's connected, it will be turning to a blue. This way, it is going to work for you. You can see that it has full set of keyboards in the front and you do have the right click and the left click on the left hand side for a mouse. And if we flip on the top, we do have the little part so you can charge it and also the turn on and turn off button. If we go to the back, it's pretty nicely done. It has a little parts on each side. It looks like it's made out of leather and also in the middle section of it where it says droid box on top of it, there's a little hidden part. Once you open it, the little dongle or the little USB is hidden inside of it. So that way you can open it and take advantage of it. And we will be using this for this video. All right, so now let's just get the box connected. So as soon as it comes up, you will see the Droid box picture and it will take a couple of seconds for it to boot in. And yes, you will get this little animation As soon as it goes in, this is the screen you will see. And yes, it will auto detect your screen itself. So that way it can maximize. Remember, if this is your first time just going in, there is a little welcome screen and you have to set it up. Since we have already bypassed that, this is the screen we will see. 
so we will turn on our remote this way the blue light is on once you touch the touchpad you will see that the mouse is moving now so this is pretty cool and now on the top we have the little home icon which means that we are on the main screen and then you have the little section that is cut out and it says the time the date and also the full date right beside that the weather for your location right beside that we have the xbmc logo and soon they will be changing this to cody the next part is the big section says my favorites and this is where you're going to be able to add more icons to this by just pressing this plus or minus button and there you go this is how easy it is to add some new icons into this and once that's done when you press the back button it will be added so you can see it it's all added here on the side of it you will see a bunch of other icons the best things that i really like is the multitasking button which this will kill all the apps that are running in the background so if you click on it, it takes a couple of seconds and there you go now it's done you can see that it says all apps has been killed that are running in the background so you do have a bunch of little icons there too now one is for the app store make sure that you log in so that way all of your apps are up to date the second thing is the regular settings on the top we do have the magnifying glass this way if you want to search for something through google since we are connected via ethernet and not wi-fi if we go under settings you will see that this is setting inbox and most of these boxes these days comes with this preloaded so you will have the network and then the display so this way you can set up if you want to turn off the auto detection and you want to click on this and then you want to change it like 720p or you want to take it to 1080i or 1080p 60 hertz this is how it's done remember if you want to hook this up to an older type of tv make sure that the auto detection is on or if you want to hook this up to a 4k tv make sure auto detection is on this way it will detect and it will change by itself we do have the status bar the screen display resolution this is how you're going to make the screen smaller or bigger and this way you can take advantage of it remember that this is really cool if you do have an older type of tv and it's overlapping this is how you can make it small just using your remote up and down button on the navigation buttons this is how you're going to make it nice big and small in order to get out of it just have to press back button and that's it underneath of it you do have the screensaver i always place it under never but you can change it go on under advanced you can set up your google remotes either on the phone itself or if you have a different type of remote you can set it up here also if you do have optical audio set up come here and you can play with it if you do have no sound on your box come here make sure that the audio detection is off and make sure that the audio output is on pcm and you're going to fix your audio the next thing is other click on that here you can see the model name is t8s the android version right now that is running is the latest one which is 4.4.2 the build version and kernel version is here too if there is any update OTA available you can click here or if it's done locally which is on your box using a thumb drive or your SD card you can still go through the system update and help you out under more settings it's just regular Android settings so you can see more information for your box we will get out of this too now the next thing we will go under apps it comes pretty much fully loaded with a lot of apps on it you can see that it has airplay that means as if you do have your apple products iphones or ipod touch or ipads you can airplay your content without having an apple product hooked up to your tv this box will take you to that level another thing they have is the droid share i haven't played with this yet we will be making another video for that the droid market is another really cool thing when you go to it it will take a couple of seconds for it to load and then once it comes up it is pretty nicely done you can see the icons are pretty big and once you go to it you can just automatically go ahead and install any of these apps that are preloaded on this remember the ones that droid box recommending there are a lot of little goodies in this the best ones that actually stuck out and i really like is the ota updater recovery boot your boot manager we have the super user on this too Another good thing is it came preloaded with speed tests. So this way you know what speed you're getting. The 4K player is already there too. It comes preloaded with Netflix. Another good thing is that if you want to use Kodi on this, you can not only just use it on the Android version, but you can also dual boot it to go into open elect, an elect version of the Kodi. It will take a couple of seconds for it to go through and yes it will give you a little pop-up you need to say grant that way it will give it access it will reboot 
and this is the first screen you're going to see and there you go now it is the open alike version of the droid box we will wait for it and there you go this is the first screen that you're going to get once you go into open alike and you gotta set it up so you can click next if you want to rename the host you can do that too click next and now it says that to connect via wireless or wired and you can already see that it i already have ip address because i'm connected via wire we will click next and if you want to configure this so you can open samba in ssh this way you're going to have root access to this we will click next and it says thank you so once you go next here this is it now that's not the only part if we go into system info and update on this it's very easy go to system select open like go to system itself now we will scroll down and it's right here it says update automatic right now it is set up under a manual you can click on it you can put it under auto if you wish another thing it says it to show the notification and also check for update now so if you click on it if there is any updates available it takes a couple of seconds goes up to the cloud finds it and then it gets you the update Another thing that they have is the Droid Box Cloud Installer. So if you click on it and it will ask you if you say yes, then it will go through and it will find the information for you so it can update it for you. There you go. Once it is installed successfully, if you go under Programs, press OK. And now there are some little goodies that are part of it now. So you can back up and do more and just to let you guys know yes they do have their own wizard i haven't installed it since it will take us to a little third party add-ons but you can install it you can see it here but just to let you guys know it will play the 720p and 1080p videos without problem so in order to play one of the videos we will just go in and try to play one of our own videos from youtube to see how fast they will load and there you go you can see that this is running the 720p and it is pre pretty much really fast in order to play this and you can see that it is running nicely on this and we're not having any issues going through it so you can see that this is 720p aac 2.0 and if we cut out a little bit so this way you can see something on this and there you go again this is pretty nicely done i really like this box let's just get out of this too all right so something cool that they have done with this is once you go to the reset button or the power button when you click on it, it gives you a little option it says switch to android or you want to reboot so if we say switch to android it will reboot it will turn off basically the whole box and now it will reboot and this time it should go under android under android and there you go now we went back under android all right so now if we go under apps the next thing we're going to use our task is going to be the cpu z so if you select it takes a couple of seconds you can see that this is arm cortex a9 it is running two gigahertz it is quad core you can see the cpus that are running and the ones that are off if you go to the bottom the gpu is molly 450 which is octo core and if you go under system itself it gives you more info about this box the manufacturer is droid box it is the model t8s and if you go down a little bit the version android version is 4.4.2 and you keep going down talks about the ram and more all right we will get out of this too we will be leaving the links for where you can order this box from and also to get more support for this at the bottom of this video. I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xctext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Vine, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.